Don't fall. Okay. Hey guys, it's Bella and today I'm actually going to be doing a requested video and this was a video to update you guys on my tonsils and my tonsillectomy because I got my tonsils out. Um, I have my computer right here actually. I think I got my tonsils out. Okay, almost two years ago. And this video got 40,000 views, which was really good for me. And I'm gonna link it down below if you wanna watch it. But today I'm just going to be reacting to it. And my computer is right here. You can't see it, but I will be looking down. But I'll put somewhere on the screen the video. So let's do this. Um, I've only ever done one other reaction video. And, um, it didn't get very much love, but I was proud of myself <laughs> for editing like that because I don't usually make videos like that. Okay, so let's get started. This is also going to be an update. I don't have my tonsils anymore, obviously, because they got out, but they, my throat looks normal. I don't know. <laughs> so there you go. Some close-ups of my mouth. <laughs> I'm actually so excited. I have not seen this video. I got my tonsils, I believe, March 27th, 2017. It's 2019 now. So we're at like a year and 10 months. Everything's... Yeah, I am getting my tonsils taken out. <laughs> and I'm here in a room with my dad. And uh, I'm thinking that my voice... I look right off the bat. I look so gross. <laughs> I change a little bit, so we'll see. This morning I woke up at seven. All I did was take a shower. We're not allowed to put like. My voice. Okay, I keep like pausing it as I have so many things to say. My voice now is so different. I look at these videos, and my voice sounds super raspy, and it's crazy to hear my voice like that because it doesn't even sound like me. Any light motion on or anything. Or, and I couldn't eat past 12, but we got here around 8.30. This is after surgery. They gave me purple stuff. Good, I'm just vlogging. I was annoying the nurse in my video. so much because of this. Like, I, I don't know if she knew I was recording or what, but she just didn't seem too impressed. So, uh, I look like a little baby. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> I mean, I look the exact same, but like, my eyes look really green in that shirt, also. But yeah, it's yeah, like ten, almost 10 30 or something. My eyebrow. I assume. <laughs> or I what is wrong with my eyebrow? <laughs> just like. I don't know if I end up mentioning this in this video, but right after I got my tonsils out, I ate a whole burrito from Taco Bell, which is like, like nobody does that, like ever. My brother almost died after he got surgery, actually. Um, he ended up getting like a really high fever and nobody like, I feel like noticed. And he ended up losing like almost 18 pounds in one week because he just starved because like he would, couldn't eat anything like it was so painful for him and like I was the complete opposite right after surgery it was like eating burritos and talking and going out like <laughs> it was not an issue for me it's been like super hard to do and stuff but like it's kind of crazy because as soon as I left the hospital we went to Taco Bell and I ate oh I did mention this I did mention it so the food's just fine it's the ice cream probably felt the best for sure Okay, I just checked it. It's 1019 and I'll be taking my meds soon. Last time I took them was around 7. So it's been about 3 hours. But 3 hours? Sounds like super weird. It's uh. pretty good. And, uh, I just love that like, instead of just thing, sleeping and like taking care of myself and taking a break i just was vlogging in the middle of the night at like 4 a.m like that's probably not what i should be doing girl fix your eyebrow 
<laughs> oh, I know this is only like almost two years ago, but like I'm so cute. The only time when it would hurt like really, really, really bad is when I would wake up in the middle of the night to take any type of medicine. Well, they give me liquid hydros and after a while the taste of it was so disgusting that I would have like I decided to stop taking them because I preferred to be in a lot of pain than taste the taste like I would only take ibuprofen when I was supposed to be taking hydros but I couldn't take the taste anymore like it was literally I think it was so gross and like it probably isn't even that gross but after having to take it so much it was just disgusting I couldn't do it anymore yeah like those hydros tasted so gross. I'm in a new location because I'm at my mom's house now. Accidentally, I didn't wake up at 4.30 to take my meds last night, so I kind of messed up my whole schedule. I have to um, like change it, so now I have to take it at 10, and now I have to wake up at 2. Oh. Okay, I'm so cute. These are so cute. I feel like I've been hard on myself, but like, I love looking back on these videos. I know literally nothing has changed. I'm still like literally 12 years old, but I don't care anymore. You one of the worst weeks of my life. Okay. That wasn't gonna be the worst week of your life. <laughs> just you wait. You're just so trapped that you're just tied down and there's nothing you can do but basically take a lot of med medicine. And drink oh, a lot of ice water. I really water. want some ice cold water right now. That looks like delicious. I love cold water. It's so good. A lot of ice water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds like I'm dying. Sounds like I'm dying. Here's a picture. <laughs> There's the wind. They were huge. Dude, okay, so I was starting to develop like a sleeping disorder because of my tonsils. I just was constantly snoring and you can't dream and snore um, at the same time as of what I'm aware of. Um, I wasn't getting actually like good quality sleep because of them and that's like one of the reasons why we had to take them out. Yeah, so that's the whole video. Honestly, like when I look back and think about how big my tonsils were and like how rare that is um, for how big they are, and how rare it was for me to recover that well um, is pretty crazy. And I'm like really, really happy about that um, because like I said, my brother had a completely different experience. Um, he looked terrible and he was in a lot of pain and he had to take oxys and stuff, which makes you constipated and a whole big deal. And um, so yeah, this is for the people who are going to get their tonsils out or have gotten them or just want to see what that looks like and what recovery looks like. Also, um, I got a few DMs actually asking about like whether they think it's a good idea. Um, personally, I think uh, for me it was like kind of the only option. Like I couldn't have kept living with them because they were kind of messing up my whole life because I'd be really, really tired all the time. Uh, and I'm like, it's just weird because my family or my mom thought I was anemic for a while because like I was just tired all the time, but it turned it out, turned it out. It turned out that it was just like the size of my tonsils. So I think if it's just like affecting your day-to-day -day life, definitely do it. I think if there's no rhyme or reason, then I mean, why put yourself through that, of course. Um, now, also another thing is now I don't get sick as often, which is like ironic because I just got sick, but like I would always get strep throat. I got tonsillitis one time. Um, I was always sick and like instead of when my throat hurt, it wasn't just like, oh, my throat hurts. Like it hurt so bad. I had to take so much medicine because like my tonsils were huge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from me or like this one, please subscribe and like this video and comment down below what you want to see because I am taking your suggestion. I will make the video you suggest. Okay, bye.